So let's try to grasp the concepts surrounding methods of controlling the arm with your left hand. The way I do it is I wrap it around my pinky like that and then over my index like this. I mean, that still enables the yarn to flow, but it adds some resistance because of that wrap. So it doesn't move quite as freely as uh, if I just ran it over my pinky finger. But we'll get to that. Here we have a 1-1 one, one ribbing project. And this is my normal position, right? But let's uh, just boil it down to the minimal requirement using my index and middle finger. So if I only use my index finger, you can see there's no resistance and the yarn just gets real loose and there's no way to control it. But if I use my middle finger to kind of uh, pincer it against the left needle, I can kind of keep it from moving forward when I don't want it to. You see that? I just press it against the left needle. This is a one method to keep some tension on the working yarn. So now if I purl this stitch, you see, it give it some slack, but then I can pull it back with my, my index finger. So when I work a stitch, I allow the yarn to move forward slightly. And then when I release the worked stitch, I can pull the yarn back to tighten it again. That's kind of the concept of what we're trying to do. Let's look at an application, a slightly different application, the same concept. But first, uh, once again, I must stress that if I don't apply any tension to the working yarn, just drape it over my index, I have zero control. I'm helpless. So I need to apply some kind of tension, right? I need to pincer it between something. So I, if I use my pinky and my ring finger like this, and then drape it over my index. Now it's tense, so I can grasp the yarn very easily and, you know, bend it to my will. That's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to get the yarn to comply with our desires, right? And there are many different ways. There's no right and wrong way to do this. What it comes down to is what you're comfortable with. So let, let me show you another method again. So if I weave it in between all four fingers, like so, as long as it comes out on top of my index, that's the main goal. And this is another way I can apply tension. And when I say apply tension, what I really mean is to control the flow of the yarn when it's moving forward and when it's not, when I'm applying resistance, right? So when I work this knit stitch, I'm giving it lots of slack and I'm pulling slack through the work loop. But once the loop is worked, I want to retract and tighten that new loop. So that's what we're doing all the time. When I insert a needle through a loop and pull the yarn through it, I want it to be slack. But once that uh, yarn is worked through that loop and a new loop is created, I want to tighten the new loop again. So it's give and take at all times. We give some slack, work the loop, and then retract that slack. And another benefit of feeding the yarn through your left hand is that when you're done, you just take your right-handed needle and place it into the position that the left-hand needle was. They just switch places, just like that. You don't need to drop the yarn or anything. You just switch places and then continue working. So again here, I'm going to do a knit stitch and I'm going to pull the yarn through, give it lots of slack, slip that work stitch off and then tighten. And then I can place the yarn up for the purl stitch, do the same thing. And it's kind of this give and take fluid motion, but it requires you to kind of pinch the yarn when you're retracting the tension and then let it slide when you need slack. So it's a constant give and take let it flow and then pull it back. So I prefer to have it wrapped around my pinky finger. I think that gives the best tension. You may prefer to weave it in between all your fingers like that, or maybe just in between two fingers or, you know, over your pinky and then over your index. This is all personal preference. The underlying concept is that you just need to control the tension of the yarn at will. So if you have any other questions, don't hesitate to ask and good luck.